Hi, and welcome back to the journey to Nebula Sew Along. I'm Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts, and I'll be your guide on this journey. This week, we are working on cutting triangles and half triangles for the Gemstones pillowcases. These pillowcases were designed as an addition to Nebula. They look fantastic with that quilt. This is part of a bonus for the journey to Nebula Sew Along. If you happen to be watching this in January 2021 or after, this is a PDF downloadable purchase pattern from my website. So let's get started on the cutting. The first is our triangles. And this will be cut from your uh, accent fabric. You have your main body fabric, your two feature fabrics, and then your accent fabric. So make sure you're using the right fabric. So I'm gonna use my accent fabric. And we've done triangles plenty of times, but I will give you a refresher. So what we're gonna do is we have our strip and we're gonna line up our sidekick ruler with the two and a half inch solid line on the top and the base of our ruler on the bottom. And we're gonna slide as far over as we can without going too much into the selvage. And I am right-handed, so we're going to cut. And then just this first time, we're going to rotate the strip around and we're gonna take our ruler, make sure you can see me, and we're going to flip it up and down back to cut our triangle. So we're gonna line up base of our ruler, two and a half inch line, our diagonal line, and cut. And then to get our next one, we're gonna flip our ruler back up. And we will walk our way down the strip in this manner until we have enough triangles. Now, if you're left-handed, you are gonna start out, let's use the other end of the strip, you're gonna start out with your strip like this and your ruler upside down. So you're gonna have the base of your ruler at the top of the strip and your two and a half inch line on the bottom and you're going to cut and then you will rotate the strip around and it will look like this and you'll have the ruler like this and you'll cut and you'll flip your ruler back and forth. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know. The next shape to cut is our uh, feature half triangles and I have a little trick I'm going to show you. Generally in most of my patterns I have you when you need right and left cut these with the fabric wrong sides together but because of how the assembly of this project goes we're going to cut right sides together. So it's going to seem a little backwards but I'll show you why in just a minute. So you have one strip facing up and then you're going to take your other strip and place it facing down right on top of your first one. Okay and you're gonna take your ruler, and I'll show you right-hand directions first and then left, and you're gonna line up your two and a half inch line on your piece and the base of your ruler on the top of your strip. And the first cut we're gonna do is to cut the selvages off. And this is where if you have a rotating mat, it comes in handy for the first turn, but it's not really necessary after that. So we're gonna go ahead, carefully keeping your strips together Flip that strip around and if it moves, just kind of wiggle it perfectly back together. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our two and a half inch line up here, our two and a half, our solid line here in the base of our ruler, and we're gonna cut. Then to get our next piece, our next pair of pieces, we're gonna rotate the ruler around, line up the diagonal line, two and a half, base of the ruler and cut. Now, here's where the trick comes. Grab yourself some pins and instead of taking these apart, go ahead and pin the pair together right now. They are exactly how they need to be to be sewn for this project. So you're just gonna go ahead and pin them. And you're gonna sew your quarter inch along the straight side. So you might need to move your pin out of the way if you pin the way that I did. So pin it over here. You're gonna sew your quarter inch right here and this is just gonna be a real good time saver. So I'll show you another cut and I'll show you what your yield looks like if you do open up your pieces. So if you take your pieces and if you open them up, you'll notice you have this one and this one right here. So quarter inch seam sews these two together and makes this triangle. So continue your way down the strip and cutting as many pieces as you need with them right sides together and pinning your pairs as you go.
Now if you're left-handed, cutting is similar, but you are going to start with your strips facing this direction, and you're gonna take your ruler and line up your two and a half inch line in the base of your ruler, and you're gonna cut the selvages off. So imagine that I cut the selvages off. And then you're gonna turn these, and again, keep them lined up. If they shift, realign them. And then take your ruler, line up your straight line, your two and a half base of your ruler, cut, and then continue to just rotate your ruler down the strip, cutting your pairs and pinning them just as I showed for right-handed. So go ahead and complete all of your cutting for the band of your pillowcase. Don't worry about cutting the body or the inside lining yet. And take a picture of your pieces cut and post that to Instagram. Use the hashtag journey to nebula to be entered into this week's giveaway. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask them wherever you're watching this video. And I will see you back here next week to work on piecing our pillowcases.